factoring. It is the process of finding the factors of an expression. It is also the reverse process of multiplication. Hi everyone! Our topic for today is how to factor the greatest common monomial factor. But before that, let us have a recall on the law of exponents. We have a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So, ang gagawin lang natin, pagpareho sila ng base, kukopya, uh, kukopya lang natin yung base and then i-add natin yung exponents. Let us have this example, a cubed times a squared. They have the same base, copy the base, and then add the exponents which are 3 and 2. So, we have a raised to 3 plus 2 is 5. So, we have a raised to 5. Next, fifth power. Next, we have x squared y times uh, x y squared. So, pareho silang merong x dito. So, copyin natin yung x. And then, we have exponent of 2 dito ay 1. And then, we have y. Ang exponent dito is 1 plus 2. x 2 plus 1 is 3. y 1 plus 2 is 3. So, we have x cubed y cubed. Next naman natin is yung subdivision. Law of exponents. a raised to m over a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So, ang gagawin lang natin, since pareho sila ng base, subtract natin yung exponents nila. Let us have this example. a cubed over a squared. So, ang mangyayari dyan, kopya ng base, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, we have a. Or, pwede rin naman na a cubed over a squared. Tingnan ninyo yung pinakamalit na exponent. So, ito 3, ito yung 2. Ito yung uh, 1 na lang ang matitira. 1 na lang yan. And then, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, may matitira ka pang isang a. So, the answer is a. So, ito na lang gawin natin dito since mas madali yun. So, ito, x squared y over xy squared x squared at saka x, pareho sila. Ang pinakamalit na exponent ay yung nandito. I-rewrite ko na lang. x squared y. I-rewrite ko lang ha. x y squared. Pinakamalit na exponent is yung x. So, ito ang matitirahan na lang ng 1. So, 2 minus 1 ang exponent. Meron ka pa matitirang isang x. And then ito, y, y over y squared. Ang pinakamalit na exponent is y. So, ito yung may matitirahan na lang na 1. y squared, 2 minus 1, yung exponent, meron ka pang matitirang 1. So, alin ang natira? x over 1. So, ngayon, review naman tayo about special products na discuss ninyo noong grade 7 kayo. So, we have to multiply this polynomials. 2 times the quantity of 3x plus 4. So, ano gagawin natin? Distributive property. So, didistribute natin yung 2 sa 3x and 4. So, 2 times 3x is 6x. This is plus 2 times 4 is 8. This is the product. Next, we have m squared n cubed times the quantity of mp plus n minus 1. Distribute natin yan. This term multiplied by this term. So, m squared, since this is m, pareho sila ng base, 2 plus, the exponent of m here is 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. And then, n cubed, since walang n cubed dito sa first term, copy na lang natin, and then, yung p, copy na lang din natin. We have 3 terms here, by the way, so dapat 3 terms din ang magiging product natin. So, this is a plus sign, so lagay lang din natin yung plus sign, since uh, positive to. So, this, terms, uh, this term times multiplied to this uh, second term. So, m squared, walang m dito. So, copyin na lang natin. We have n here and n here. So, pareho silang may n. Copyin ng n. 3 plus 1 is 4. This is minus 1. So, ibig sabihin, any number, multiply, any number multiplied by 1 is equal to itself. So, kung multiply natin to by 1, ito na lang din ako. Copy natin. n squared and cubed. So, this is the product. Okay. So, ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-factor. 
So, in factoring GCMF, ang hahanapin lang natin dyan, kailangan pareho sila sa bawat terms, lahat ng terms, dapat meron silang common monomial factor. Isa lang dun ang wala, hindi na sila ang common term. So, kung ilang terms yun, titignan natin lahat. So, in this case, we have two terms. So, titignan natin, itong isang term na to at isang term na to, kailangan kung ano yung meron dito, dapat meron din dito sa isang term. Otherwise, hindi na nga siya common factor. As I said, a while ago. Dito, sa numbers na to, we have 4 and 6, pwede natin i-factor yan. Like, what are the factors of 4? 2 and 2. Factors of 6, we have 3 and 2. 2. Pwede rin naman, kung kayang-kaya nyo nang magkuhanin uh, yung GCF nito, mag-divide na kayo agad-agad. So, dito, we have 4 factor, common factor ng 4 and 6 is 2. So, pwede na natin ilabas yung 2. And then, we have, or ito, oh, common factor niya is 2. So, nilabas na natin doon. And then, may x dito, meron din ditong x so, ibig sabihin, common factor nila is x. Lagay na natin yung x. Yes, baby. Thank you. And then, ang titignan natin, the shortcut here, the technique lang, pagka variables, alin ang common factor nila? Tingnan lang ninyo yung pinakamaliit na exponent. So, dito x cubed, dito x squared. So, pinakamaliit na exponent is 2. So, yun na yung common factor. And then, we have y here sa first term, we also have y here sa second term. So, ibig sabihin, common factor nila is y. Ang exponent ng y dito is 2. Ang exponent dito is 1. So, the common factor is y. Ang exponent is 1. Pwede na tayo ngayon mag-divide. Since ang sinabi nga natin kanina, factoring is the reverse process of multiplication. And what is that? Division. So, 4 divided by 2, or this term divided by this term, common factor, 4 divided by 2 is 2. x cubed divided by x squared. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, meron pa tayong x na malitira dito. y squared divided by y. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, meron pa tayong malitira ng isang y. This is a minus sign. So, lagay lang natin yung minus sign dyan. Para maging negative divided by positive is also negative. Since this is positive, kung ano yung term ito, Copyin nyo na lang, para mas madali. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. x squared divided by x squared is 1. So, hindi na natin susulat yon. y divided by y is 1. Hindi na rin natin susulat since meron dito 3. Kung gusto nyo naman makita, pwede rin naman. 3 times 1 times 1 is also 3. So, para bawas uh, gawain, yun na yun. So, this is the factor of 4x cubed y squared minus 6x squared y. For our next uh, example, kung mapapansin niyo puro siya variables. Actually, ito yung pinakamadaling i-factor. Kasi, yung kanina nga, yung sinabi ko, ang titignan nyo lang, kung alin yung common sa kanilang lahat ng terms, at kung alin yung pinakamaliit na exponent, yun yung common factor. So, ganun lang kadali. So, itong example na to, we have 1, 2, 3. We have 3 terms. So, dapat yung nasa loob ng, uh, ng uh, parenthesis, 3 terms din. So, uh, sa first term, meron tayong A. Tingnan natin sa second term kung meron din A. There's also A. Sa third term, meron din tayong A. So, alam na natin that A is a common factor. Ano ngayon ang exponent? So, this is 5, this is 4, and 4. So, 4 ang common factor. Next, we have B. Meron din nitong B, meron din nitong B. The least exponent is 1. So, isa lang. Last, we have C, C, and C. Lahat sila puro square. Lahat sila puro 2 ang exponent. So, yun na yung common factor. And then, we can divide. Pwede na tayo mag-divide. This term divided by the common monomial factor. So, A, 5 minus 4 is A na lang b cubed divided by b, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, meron pa tayong dalawang b matitira. c squared divided by c squared is 1. Minus, 
A to the 4th divided by A to the 4th is 1. B divided. Actually, ayan, tingnan nyo. Pareho-pareho pala sila. So, this term divided by this term is 1. Since pareho sila. Next, we have the last term. A to the 4th, A to the 4th. So, wala na. 1 na lang yan. B squared divided by B. Meron pa tayo matitira ang isang B. C squared divided by C squared is 1. So, our fact or our answer is A to the 4th B C squared times the quantity of A B squared minus 1 plus B. For our third example, we have 18M cubed N squared minus 12M squared N squared plus 6M. So, ganun pa rin. Do for the common factor. Since meron tayong numerical dito, numerical coefficients, tingnan natin kung meron silang common factor. We have 18, 12, and 6. So, ang common factor is 6. So, labasan natin dyan. We have M here. Meron dito itong M. Meron dito din dito M. So, common factor nila is M. This is 3, this is 2, this is 1, yung exponent. So, ang common factor, 1, ang exponent. Sa first term, meron tayong N. Sa second term, we have also N. Pero sa last term, wala. So, hindi sila common. So, hindi natin inalagay yung variable na N. So, kahit, yung, katulad na sinasabi ko sa mga sudyante ko dati, kahit kating-kating na yung kamay ninyo na ilagay ninyo na M, ay na N, dahil meron dito sa dalawa, Kaya lang, dito sa last term, wala. Hindi siya pwede. Kasi sabi nga natin, common sa lahat ng terms. Okay, so, ito na yung common factor niyan. Divide na natin. We have three terms, so dapat three terms din sa loob ng uh, parenthesis. So, we have 18 divided by 6 is 3. M cubed divided by M, we have M squared. And then, since walang N dito, copy na lang natin. Padaliin natin ang buhay natin. This is minus sign. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2. M squared divided by M is M. Since wala ulit M dito, copy na lang ulit natin. Next, we have 6M divided by 6M. So, this is plus 1. There you have it. plus 15x cubed y to the 4th minus 10x to the 4th. We have 3 terms. Tignan natin yung medical coefficients. We have 10, 15, and 10. So, the common factor is 5. Divisible sila sa lahat. Divisible sila lahat sa 5. We have x here. Dito sa second term. Meron din tayong x. Dito sa third term. Sa last term, we also have x. Common factor nila is x. Tignan natin yung pinakamaliit na exponent, this is 5, this is 3, and this is 4, ang pinakamaliit is yung 3. Meron tayong y dito sa first term, meron tayong y sa second term, sa middle term, pero dito sa last term, wala. So, kailangan ba natin ilagay yung y? No. Hindi. Okay. So, ito na yung common monomial factor niya. So, the first term divided by the common monomial factor, 10 divided by 5 is... 2x to the 5th divided by x cubed, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, we have x squared here. And then, yung katulad na sinabi ko kanina, since wala dito sa common monomial factor, yung y, copyhin na lang natin, pati yung exponent. Next, this is plus sign. 15 divided by 5 is 3. x cubed divided by x cubed is 1. Huwag na natin isulat. Para hindi na tayo mahirapan. This is y to the 4th. Walang y sa common monomial factor. Kopyahin lang. This is minus sign. Minus. 10 divided by 5 is 2. x to the 4th divided by x cubed. Meron ka pang isang x. Ayan. Okay. Yung susunod, kayo na ang magsasagot. Bigyan ko kayo ng time. And then, tingnan ninyo kung makuha na. Chichek hindi natin mamaya. Sagot na kayo. Tingnan natin.
natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. O wala naman kung magkamali, practice makes perfect. So, we have 8y squared plus 16y. We have only have two terms. We only have two terms. So, common factor of 8 and 16 is 8. And then, y squared, meron tayong y din dito. Common factor niyan is y. So, pwede na tayong mag-divide. So, 8y squared divided by 8y, may matitira ka pang y. Actually, ganito yung itsura niyan kung nalilito pa rin. 8y squared divided by 8y. 8 divided by 8, cancel na yan kasi 1 na lang yan. And then, y squared divided by y, may matitira kang y. Ayun yun. Okay? And then, plus 16 divided by 2, ay 8 is 2, y divided by y is 1. Ayan. So, we have 8y plus, ah, times the quantity of y plus 2. Ito yata ano. Okay, so this time we have 3 terms. We have 14c to the 4th, d to the 5th, minus 21c squared, d squared, e, plus 35c squared, d to the 6th. So we have 3 terms. For, we have 14, 21, and 35 in numerical coefficients. So, alam niyo yung common factor nila. Their common factor is 7. We have C here. The middle term, meron din tayong C. Sa last term, meron din tayong C. So, common factor nila is C. So, tingnan yung least exponent nila. We have 4, we have 2, and 2. So, ang exponent na pinakamalit is 2. We have D here sa first term, meron tayong D sa second term or the middle term, and then we have D sa last term. So, ano yung pinakamalit na exponent? 5, 2, and 6. So, ang pinakamalit na exponent is 2. Meron tayong E dito, pero dito sa dalawang terms, wala. So, hindi natin siya isasama as common monomial factor. Let's proceed in division. 14, uh, this term divided by this common monomial factor, 14 divided by 7 is 2. C to the 4th divided by C squared, 4 minus 2 is 2. So, C squared. D to the 5th minus D squared, 5 minus 2, meron pa tayong 3 na matitira. So, D cubed minus 21 divided by 7 is 3. C squared divided by C squared is 1. D squared divided by D squared is 1. Pero meron tayong E doon, kopya. Plus, 35 divided by 7 is 5. C squared divided by C squared is 1. D to the 6 divided by D squared, 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have D to the 4th power. So this is our answer. <music> math problems, huwag nyo pressuring yung sarili ninyo. Kung inaanto kayo, pumikit kayo. Kung nagugutom kayo, kumain kayo. Para lang gumana yung brain cells ninyo. Huwag nyo pilitin or huwag, nyo mag, huwag kayong manggigil sa pagsasagot. Kasi metras nang gigigil kayo, lalo yung hindi makukuha. Hinga lang. Hinga lang. Math is fun. Gaya na sinasabi natin, since elementary pa lang tayo, math is fun.